Well, uh, good evening, everybody. I'm here in my kitchen. You know, I've been posting some pictures of the dinners that we've been making uh, whilst on quarantine. So tonight, actually, I thought that we would uh, cook with you, as a matter of fact. And what I'm going to make tonight is a time-honored dish here in the Coachella Valley. It is called Steak Sinatra. Now, everybody has a different recipe. I am going based loosely on my buddy uh, Vince over at Johnny Costa's restaurant, who does a great job. I poured myself a little Merlot. We'll be using that <clears throat> in the dish, as a matter of fact. It calls for a little wine, and I thought I'd put it in my Frank Sinatra wine glass, just as a good measure. All right, what you're gonna need is about a pound of steak, good beef. All right, I've got prime New York strip, Frank preferred New York strip, so you kind of cut it up nice like this and you dredge it in a little flour, okay? So we're ready to go with that. And then you're gonna need some peppers. I've got some beautiful red bell peppers right there. I've sauteed some onions in the olive oil, I'm about to cook the steak and the onions in that, but uh, one of the things that we're going to do, usually Frank would have it with mushrooms. I don't like mushrooms, so I'm not doing the mushrooms. It's just the way it goes. Now, you need some marinara sauce. I whipped up a little marinara sauce earlier, so this is all ready to go. You're just going to put a little splash of this in here. This is my uh, normal marinara sauce, but I did add a little bit of the red pepper just to kind of give it that flavor. So, what you gotta do is get this fairly hot because we're gonna sear the meat. You wanna sear it to lock in the juices. This is a nice prime steak I got over at Costco, uh, which was unbelievably cheap, the prime. So, that is one thing you're gonna wanna check out. By the way, I'm having a little stag's leap tonight. I thought that would go well with this. <clears throat> I'm actually using a Merlot. Uh, Frank liked the Merlot in this. It's a little softer, a little rounder for the dish. All right, so I've, I've got my onions going a little bit. You don't want to get too hot because, you know, the smoke point on your olive oil is very hot. So when you're going to do this, you're going to put the beef and the peppers in at the same time. The other thing you need, like I said, you need want red wine. You also need this, which is actually, this is a little veal demi-glaze, which my buddy Chef Freddie Rieger down in Fantasy Springs taught me how to make. I saved a little bit of that. I'm going to put that into the dish as we get going here. So we got the dish going. It's nice and hot. So, what I'm going to do is put in, I'm not going to use all of these peppers, they're nice. I'm going to put in some of these peppers like that. All right, and now, I've dredged this in a little flour, so it's going to be a little messy. <clears throat> Throw the steak in there. All right, that is nice stuff. Okay, got that in there, and you want to get it nice and hot, but one thing you don't want to do is let it uh, start browning the peppers. You don't want them to do that. But you do want it nice and hot so you can sear the beef. Uh, so I see a couple of my chef friends are watching. Pay no attention, guys. I'm just cooking at home for myself. All right, so we got the pan hot. We're cooking the beef. We're cooking the peppers. The, the onions, I like them a little softer, so I already kind of put them in there for a little while. So we're going to do that. We're going to get them going. I had to clean the stove, too. Otherwise, my wife would have killed me. So we're getting the beef. We're going to sear it up. I like my beef medium rare, medium rare, rare plus, somewhere in that range. So, now the other thing I want to do while I'm cooking the beef, a little, little pepper, fresh ground black pepper, and also a little kosher salt, freshly ground in there. <clears throat> We're gonna, you know, I figured since I'm broadcasting both radio and television from home, might as well cook with you. So, we got that going. And remember, your marinara sauce, you're gonna need that. Uh, heat it up a little bit. Uh, my marinara sauce, I use San Marzano tomatoes, saute the onions, a little garlic. Also, I'm gonna serve this with some pasta. I've already pre-made the pasta, it's ready to go. I just dripped pasta sauce on the dogs. They're thrilled about that. But they're looking forward to having some of the steak Sinatra. So, now, we got the beef going, you want to get it, saute a little bit, I've got my, my wife gave me this, I don't know if you guys can read that, the, the grill father, I'll step back so you can see that, alright, <clears throat> set my pepper side, get to a point where we can put in, let's toss that around a little bit, a little of this demi-glaze, you can use beef broth, uh, you can deglaze a pan with beef and save that, uh, you know, however you like to do it. So we're going to put a little of that in there, just like that. Oh yeah, you hear that sizzle, don't you? That's nice. 
That is nice. All right. Stir that beef around. I don't want to overcook that beef. <clears throat> it, it's primed, so it'll cook pretty quickly. Those peppers are coming up nicely. You don't want them. You don't want them crunchy. But I like my peppers still a little al dente, a little little snap to them. I don't like them mushy. All right. We got the beef looking good. All oh, that demi glaze just sets this dish apart. All right. Now I think we're getting close to wine. <clears throat> Grab a plate so I can plate it. I'm gonna show you the cookbook real quick. This is the Sinatra Celebrity Cookbook. Don't look for the recipe in here. It's not in here. <clears throat> but go to Johnny Casas when they reopen, and Vince will tell you. It's not a secret. He'll tell you how to make it. All right, here we go. Now, this is a little bit of the tricky part. I'm going to add the red wine. So we add a little bit of the red wine like that. And that's really hot. Quick. So we're going to saute that. Now Vince always lets gets it a little on fire. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to burn the house down while you guys are watching. That would be embarrassing. Now we're going to burn that off. Let that cook off a little bit. Burn it off is not really the right way to say that. So we're going to cook that down. All right. The steak is beautiful. It's nice. It's tender. The peppers are soft, but still al dente. Look at that. That's coming along beautifully. That's got to cook down just a little bit more. <clears throat> Long enough for me to say uh, cheers to you guys. Stay home. Stay, stay safe. Uh, I hope that you're uh, finding interesting, creative ways to spend your evenings when you're at home. I'm uh, eating myself out of house and home. Uh, <clears throat> the kids are so afraid to get around me, they think it, that I'm eating so fast, I'll like take a finger off, which I understand. All right, now, let's see if I can find what I need. This will do. What we're gonna do, we've got this cooked down pretty nicely. Let's see if I can show that to you. <clears throat> it's reduced, very nice. Oh, it smells really good. All right, I don't know, oh, let's see. Let's do it like, there you go. Now you can see that. I don't want to tip it too much. So that looks good. All right, we're going to keep that nice and hot. <clears throat> That's keeping going. I like to cook with wine, and sometimes I use it in the food. All right, that's excellent. And by the way, that was a little olive oil, extra virgin olive oil that you do. The, you get that start, and then you add the, the beef, which you dredge in a little flour. Now, <clears throat> you don't want a lot. You just want to color the uh, dish up a little bit with this beautiful marinara. I'm going to put some heat out of that. Now this is fresh. I made it today. I uh, did a little basil and oregano. And as I said, I added the peppers. So now we're going to add that right into the dish. I just cleaned this stove and I'm making a mess. You don't want to overdo it with the tomato. That looks pretty good. We're going to stir that around. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's pretty. Okay, you get that nicely incorporated in there. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let that continue to cook down a little bit. It's got a nice purple color because of the uh, wine that I used. And I also used red onions, so it gave it a little additional color. Now, my pasta. I got that pasta, I made it a little earlier, it's ready to go. I'm gonna put it, whoops, right in. Ryan, Ryan, have a piece of pasta, thank you, sir. Whoops. Put that right into my marinara. Just dredge that around a little bit in the marinara. Let that heat up, get that pasta nice and hot. All right, my steak is just about done. Oh yeah, that's done. All right, we gotta pull that off the heat. So we're going to take that off the heat. I'm going to let that rest for a moment. Here's to you guys. Mm. All right, my pasta. I've simmered it into the sauce for a little bit. I've got it nice and sauced up. Not me, the pasta. All right, so the pasta's ready to go. I'm going to grab my plate. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that, that's nice, huh? You got a little, a little pasta marinara. I'm gonna throw another little scoop of sauce on top of that. Oh, that's pretty. 
And now, we're ready to put some of that beautiful steak and peppers. All right, and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna line that, get some of those peppers. I like the onions in there. Those chunks of beef are just beautiful and they're perfect. They're about a medium rare. Might be a little uh, closer to medium. So there we go. Now, hold on one second. I don't like to put a messy plate on the table. Let's clean that up a little bit. Just mop that off, mop that off. All right, there you go. That's Steak Sinatra with my homemade marinara sauce. It's ready to go. I'm ready to go. I don't want it to get cold, so I'm gonna go eat. I hope that you guys are having a great evening. I hope that you'll join me tomorrow on News Channel 3 for our Friday edition. We got all the information you need. I'll have your weather forecast, flash flood watch, still in effect. It's raining here at my house in Cathedral City. <clears throat> so that means the dogs probably aren't gonna go out for the rest of the night. Listen guys, have a great evening. Stay home, stay safe. And thanks for tuning in to Cooking with Patrick. This may be the only episode we ever make. Have a great night.